Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I am here with a channeled messages reading from your person for all of my cancers who are watching. So if you have cancer as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Cancer, your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person and you'll know. Before I do go ahead and get started, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for your sign, so it may not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. Also, Cancer, please keep in mind that any energy, feelings, emotions, actions that I do describe from your person, that could be how you feel here. The roles could be reversed. Just however this reading resonates for you, please only take what resonates out of it. But without further ado, Cancer, let's see what we have coming towards you when it comes to love. Who's this person that Cancer is dealing with? Okay, let's go ahead and take both of those messages that came out. Of course, we'll pull some additional extras. But how does this person truly feel towards cancer? And what's their energy like when it comes to cancer and this love connection? What else do we need to know on this person's side, please? Let's go ahead and receive. Let's... Let's start with what we have so far, and of course, we'll get into more, but first message that did come out is, we can fix this now, I won't wait forever. We also have, lie to me, you'll lose all my respect. I'm not asking for much, but I need to feel this is real. I want long term with you. We also have, I'm putting my trust in you, I hope it's right. And I trusted my head, not my heart. So, Cancer, it seems to be that this is someone you already know. And I feel like you've been receptive. You've been open to giving out your love and also receiving love back to you, Cancer. And at first, it's like this connection was lighthearted as far as the energy. I see you and this person communicating with one another routinely or spending time together frequently and you cancer feeling more at ease to share more of yourself and who you are towards this person and it may have even led it up to the both of you expressing what you want and how you truly feel about one another but I do feel like this person did a 180 here where they switched up or they went cold, they went ghost even. And for you, Cancer, there could be a lot in your mind right now that you're contemplating, that you're thinking about. And also with the lie to me, you'll lose all my respect. There could be like an elephant in the room feeling where something took place, you know about it, and you're waiting for this person to address it or pretend like it, or not pretend, but waiting for them to confront the issue here but if you are still letting this energy into your life or being patient around the situation i feel like it's because of what you've invested into this person also seeking that clarity you may feel like it was in the it it fully depends on how you feel cancer what happened between you and this person but you could be thinking that it was a miscommunication or a misunderstanding here, but this distant, this silence, this cold energy that you're feeling from this person, I feel like you're not going to put up with it for much longer. So let's go ahead and get started, Cancer. First, we'll start with I want long term with you. I feel like this is a shared energy between you two, specifically from your side, Cancer, the energy, the emotions, the gestures that you've put in. To this connection and that you've expressed towards this person it was all real 
it was all for a bigger goal here and that's to be long term with this person or have that commitment between you two so treating this seriously from your side this could have also been something that this person expressed to you and that made you feel more comforted to move forward with them I'm putting my trust in you. I hope it's right. So even when things are good, Cancer, you may have had feelings or thoughts of what if this happens or just being aware of how people can switch up, how not everyone is so genuine and truthful as they make themselves out to be. So I feel like throughout this connection, you've been taking it one step at a time, trying to not overthink about what could take place. Also, paying attention to this person's actions in real time and going off of that but then again cancer you having faith you trusting this person or putting their putting your trust in them um i feel like you're also although you're open and receptive to this person's energy you're not trying to have it drag on and it's also more of an example but when this person perhaps tells you I'll work on this it's not what you think it's like you're trusting their words in that moment and then their actions should follow suit with that so I feel like for a long time cancer you haven't been blocking this person or you haven't been trying to forget about it because you do have feelings and emotions for them but this person knowing that they have your trust you hope it doesn't make it an aspect or a factor where they could just feel like they have you and now they could do whatever they want with your energy. So I'm putting my trust in you. I hope it's right. Lie to me, you'll lose all my respect. So of course this may resonate for some of my cancers, but this include, includes white lies, which are lies, but telling not the full truth about something or it's like when you confront this person about something you're concerned about and this person cancer they acknowledge exactly what you're talking about but they they turn it around they twist it and that could be considered manipulation or even gaslighting so i i feel like with how tender with how valuable and powerful your feelings and emotions are not just to this person but to yourself cancer this is a deal breaker for you because I'm welcoming you with open arms here and for you to just accept what I have to give and abuse it or mistreat it that goes to show what you really feel of me what you really think of me to not handle my energy in the most appropriate way so there could have been a lie involved cancer um and even if it wasn't fully exposed, you may be questioning this person or wanting more clarity, but this person is beating around the bush. I'm not asking for much, but I need to feel this is real. I feel like this is your energy cancer. At one point, it felt like we were locked in. It felt like we were secure. But now because of the distance or the silence that I receive from you, it doesn't it, make, it makes it feel like it it was something that once was or something that was past tense or even a dream we can fix this now i won't wait forever your energy cancer feel like you've been patient here but when it gets to, when it gets to the point where you're questioning yourself within am i good enough like is there something i need to change about myself or it doesn't, it doesn't even have to be those thoughts, Cancer. It can also just be this connection overbearing or overwhelming you. So you may hit your breaking point when it comes to this energy. And I trust in my head, not my heart. So I feel like this could be a shared energy from this person's side. I feel like they're being calculative or strategic or... Maybe they have a direct motive when it comes to knowing you, but even with them being calculative and strategic, there could be a lie involved or some truth that needs to be exposed here, but they're trying to work around it to clean up their own mess or to sweep some things under the rug here. As far as your energy cancer, you were once leading with your heart, but I feel like you had to lead with your head more. Um, so you don't get hurt 
so you can protect yourself. All right, let's see what else we have going on for Cancer, please. What other energy do we have taking place for Cancer when it comes to this person and their energy, please? Okay, Cancer, so we have these two separate messages. Let's take from the bottom. That was the first message I saw. How I treat you is exactly how I feel as an extra. Your, your energy, Cancer, being direct and intentional. And I hope you see the potential in both of us, not just me. So I feel like this could also be your energy, hoping that this person sees you together working as a team and not just you picking up the slack, you coming through to pick this connection up. Let's go ahead and receive one more single message, please, for Cancer. What else do we need to know? All right, so let's get into the rest of what we have. We have, it's hard for me to believe in love. It's never consistent. When I met you, it's like all of my dreams of love came true. You are one of a kind. I would be blessed to have you by my side. And we also have, are you going to get tired of this? Are you going to get tired of this? Let's start with this message. I feel like this is your energy cancer. Wondering if this person is done with this, if this is not their main focus or not even their main focus, but when it comes to building a relationship, is this a priority to you anymore? Just let me know. Don't keep me guessing here or seeking clarification from you. We have, you are one of a kind, I will be blessed to have you by my side. So I feel like this is this person's energy cancer, just knowing who you are, knowing that the energy that you give them, be mindful of a vampire energy, someone who absorbs your energy and your light and they use it to their advantage, but they're not so receptive when it comes to giving that back to you, or it's not just even that solely, it's someone who uses your energy to their advantage and when you reach out to them when you need them cancer they're not consistent or they're not reliable someone who comes in and out of this so i feel like this is how they feel about you cancer but it's also that energy of do do they know what it takes to keep your energy in their life do they know how to feed back that love and that energy that you give them back to you cancer do they know what it takes when i met you it's like all of my dreams of love came true i feel like this is a shared energy between you two here um i feel like with this person's energy or with how this person feels you are like a perfect partner like you give them everything they would want and need here but once again, that energy, are they ready for it? Are they going to take this seriously? You can want something, finally receive it, but then you, you don't do the maintenance on it. And that's not me comparing you to an object cancer, but it's just like reassurance, like reminding people that you love them, that you care about them, and also having that capacity within yourself to do so. Also, no ego stopping you from doing that. It's hard for me to believe in love. It's never consistent. I feel like this could be your energy cancer. And I hope you truly don't feel that way. Love is all around. Love with love is with within you, excuse me, but I feel like it's one of those energies where you feel like you finally had someone that would stay in your life and then all of a sudden or without having any answers for yourself, this person switches up on you. Let's go ahead and see what signs may be relevant for Cancer. Could be dealing with another Cancer here. Pisces, so some water energy, Cancer, Pisces. Virgo, one more sign, please, for Cancer. Cancer once again. So we have Cancer, Pisces, Virgo. Once again, Cancer came out in Leo. All right, Cancer, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.